how you doing everyone welcome to this new video so let's get started hi everyone welcome to this new tutorial today we'll learn how to make netflix like transitions So without wasting any more time, let's get into the tutorial. Now let's get into After Effects and open a new composition. Now let's create a solid. I'll just create a white solid. Just press Ctrl D four times. Now we'll have five solids. Now let's mask it out. I'll just create a mask around and similarly do it do the same for the next four solids so you can have any any mask that you want any type of shape any anything that you want I'll just create some rectangles for this some vertical, some horizontal. So now let's go to the effects and preset and search for fill. I'll just add that to every solid and just color it out so that you can see the difference for now yeah this looks all right now let's get into the animation of this i'll just go to the linear wipe and just drag it onto the first solid now we'll have smooth motion of that rectangle coming out of the left hand side now we'll just keyframe it and add the same effect to every other solid in the composition and just we can adjust the angle like in this I just started the zero angle and just copy paste it to the second and uh, similarly for every other solid Now I'll change the color and add a blue color to it. I think this I think this looks good. Now I'll just add a darker or a brighter version of the same color to every other solid so that it looks nice. So I think we are done with the color. Let's go to the Let's wrap it up. Now we have to do the same transition that we did earlier in reverse motion. So I think this looks okay. Now just select all the keyframes and right click and just select easy ease. Now go to this graph editor and just drag it on to the right so that it gets a smooth motion. yeah this is what i was talking about so yeah the animation looks nice you can have any other animation that you like in the same format or in any other um, 
way uh, now i'll just add a drop shadow to it so uh, it looks real and uh, i'll just add i'll just lower the opacity and uh, increase distance and yeah this look nice just copy paste it to every other solid we'll just save it and press this transparency grid and render it out so i hope you guys like the tutorial if you really did please subscribe and please comment and like below so i'll be back with a new tutorial next week keep learning stay creative